Alright, I'm here in a dark room. And I'm going to cover the progress of what was accomplished today on my Raspberry Pi uh, project, my SNES Pi box, for the day of uh, September 20th, 2012. I'm in the dark for a reason, and you're going to find out. This is why. <laughs> this is a black light that I've had since I was 19 years old. That was in 1999. And uh, there were two ways to buy a black light back then. For the advent of ultraviolet LEDs and other products um, that are now available on the market. Speaking of um, ultraviolet light emitting diodes, I'll be receiving mine uh, tomorrow, which will be Friday, uh, September 21st. 2012, I ordered a dozen of the ultraviolet LEDs. They are, what are they, 40 milliwatt, and they are 30 degree angle. Forgot the wavelength on them. Uh, but anyway, I've had this ultraviolet light, this, this black light, uh, since 1999. Uh, you can get it in this circular fluorescent, which was heavy and hung from a ceiling, or in a put it in a lamp like this, or you could have got the 18-inch um, fluorescent or the 40-inch, I believe it was a, no, 48-inch. And uh, this was just a regular good working black light until a few days ago when I took and spray painted it with glow-in-the-dark spray paint and fluorescent orange marking paint, just to test to see if, uh, just to test a theory to find out if, um, if I can apply glow-in-the-dark paint to a uh, ultraviolet uh, light source and get it to glow because they say supposedly if I didn't invent the fluorescent light but they say it gives off its native form of of energy is ultraviolet light and there is a phosphor layer on the outside um, typically a white phosphor that causes it to give off visible light you can see now this gives off visible light um, because of phosphorescent uh, chemicals in the paint. And um, I just want to show you, here's another reason why I painted this. I just now turn off the light, as you can see, and it still glows. This, uh, this black light here, and it's just a little bit warm. And... Um, I've got plenty of overspray on here. You can see my hand as I'm uh, touching this thing. I'll turn it back on. And uh, <laughs> it's pretty neat. I um, thought about doing something similar with the Raspberry Pi uh, or the uh, SNES Pi box. You see, yeah, this is ultraviolet light. My socks and laundry are glowing. Um, here's my SNES Pi box for uh, September 20th. 2012, and uh, of course I am Beak Supreme, uh, known by my real name is Christian Noggle, working on this SNES Pi box since, uh, well, for the whole month of uh, September of 2012, I've got fluorescent orange paint, um, the camera just probably doesn't really pick up well on the color, and this orange on the outside will be replaced with purple most likely. I have thought about black or something, but uh, the, the top color you see here, this dark color is purple. It just doesn't look right on the black light. And uh, here is uh, some more of the fluorescent orange from where I was painting the insides of this. And you can see even the, uh, the hot glue has a nice pretty color that it glows. And it's just regular hot glue. I use quite a bit of hot glue in this project. And you see on the inside, I got it fluorescent orange. And uh, my friend Dylan recommended that I do that. Um, I just, this is my first one. This is the prototype for what I'll make more of. And so it didn't really have to be the best. I got some screen here, window screen, uh, non conductive type. It's not aluminum. Uh, with this large gaping uh, ventilation hole here. Uh, I figured it'd be nice to have a screen in there to keep pennies and car keys or 
whatever would come in contact and to keep it from falling onto the system board and uh, and then I just hot glued all that in. You can see where I hot glued it up underneath there. You see the hot glue glowing. Uh, yeah, Dylan recommended fluorescent orange. I was I was kind of confused on what I should do. And um, here's the SD card slot uh, part of the Raspberry Pi box. This is the power. Uh, I, I had to make this big enough. This is a large gaping hole, which will provide ventilation, but I had to make it big enough to where can get my fingers in here and grab the uh, res the uh, SD card out of the Raspberry Pi. This hole is for the HDMI. I made it a little bit too tall, but that's fine because it'll accommodate different types of board heights depending upon how I mount this. And in the event that I decide to stand up the uh, SNES Pi box like this, uh, the hole will have enough area around it that's open that it will allow ventilation in this regard. Um, this is for the Ethernet and the USB access. Um, this is a large hole that also aids uh, in assisted ventilation. You see right straight through this. Um, this part here, I got it covered up with uh, packing tape that I to keep spray paint from getting on this. You can hear that there's something behind it. Uh, this is just acrylic and it's clear, but I had to cover it up with uh, tape because I was painting over it. And um, I'll redo another one of these. I won't recess this so much, then I won't have to cut out places um, for the analog outputs. Um, and then I can fit this all in there better and it'll look better. Um, here's my glowing beak children, as me and Dylan call them. Uh, they're cats. I got a hole punch. And uh, here's the hole punch right here. Punches out cats. And I just took some uh, thin cardboard from a uh, uh, from some kind of consumer item, some kind of drink, uh, uh, powdered beverage, um, container or whatever and I just punched out a bunch of them Now what I did underneath this is it was glow in the dark paint and then I set the uh, the cats on there these little cardboard uh, punch outs of cats set them on there and spray painted the purple paint over top of it next time what I'll probably do is just paint you know the rest of this painted purple and then have these uh, um, you can see right through these and these are the punch outs I'll probably just make me some stencils of these cats and then spray on like that you'll use less glow in the dark spray paint since that's more expensive uh... these jack-o'-lantern stickers I got these at the store uh, and uh... same thing with these bats I'm just going for a kind of Halloween theme overall because it is approaching that time of year in about a month I don't know exactly when I'll have this done. Yeah, I got one little kitty cats there also. See a little bit of glow in the dark paint where I didn't spray over it good enough with uh, purple. And um, I got various project ideas. Um, uh, that, that use glow in the dark LEDs. I'm thinking about and somewhere around here uh, putting in a jack or some type of uh, capability to wire in. Um, it just depends on if I got enough room. But to wire in. Um, oh, uh, what am I thinking of? To, to uh, I was going to put in a jack so I can plug in a cell phone charger and power the ultraviolet LED. Now I was thinking about putting an ultraviolet LED right up in here, up underneath there. That's the reason why I got it spray painted fluorescent orange on the inside of this uh, of this pie box and ultraviolet LED maybe two of them one pointing in each direction there and it would light this up and kind of illuminate it um, I've got some ideas uh, to use ultraviolet lighting uh, using LEDs uh, I think they're good for up to four volts and a cell phone charger would be really good just one from the early 2000s a ten year old cell phone charger should be fine uh, anything that puts out 3.6 volt which cell phone chargers uh, typically did that 
Uh, they're abundant and easy to find. It doesn't have to be exact. Just anything between 3 and 4 volts uh, would be fine. I mean, you don't want it much below 3 because your ultraviolet lights won't be very bright. Uh, the maximum forward voltage of these LEDs that I ordered is 4 volts, so you really don't want it above 4. So 3.6 volt of a cell phone charger would be almost perfect. Okay, and... Um, now I could spray it with this same kind of glow-in-the-dark paint. It would provide a nice pretty color on the inside. It just depends. I'll probably be making more of these Raspberry Pi boxes out of Super Nintendo game cartridges uh, by the end of, uh, hopefully before the end of 2012. You'll see what other ideas I got. Uh, I got the Jack-O-Lantern Pi box. Just simply uh, cut out uh, eyes and mouth and all that. I don't know, maybe I'll use a Nintendo 64 cartridge instead of Super Nintendo. Um, the idea that I've really been thinking of, and I kind of would prefer to keep this quiet, but I, you know, I really gotta, it's really cool and a lot of people like it. Um, and that is, uh, that's my, um, uh, Ninja Turtles Ooze Pie Box project. Uh, I talked to a few people, uh, about it already and they think it's cool and uh, it's the idea that I Christian Noggle or I go by the name Beak Supreme for my uh, for my uh, Beaklebotics YouTube channel it's an idea that I thought of maybe about a week ago so around mid-September of uh, 2012 um, what I thought of is of course it's going to be Super Nintendo game cartridge and it's going to um, it's going to, um, inst and I call this a top or a topper. It's the top part of this, and they're and they're probably going to be the most decorative part of the uh, of the uh, video game cartridge pie uh, or Raspberry Pi project um, enclosures. Um, I got a uh, I lucked into getting several years ago a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, Turtles in Time Super Nintendo game that did not work. The circuit board was dead, or something was wrong with it. But that's good, because I can use the uh, case. I can use it as an enclosure. Uh, Ninja Turtles uh, was was very popular when I was a kid in the late '80s, early '90s. Cultural icon, that sort of thing. And um, <clears throat> so, what I thought about is just. Um, uh, of course, having the Ninja Turtle cartridge, spray painting it black, but leaving the label completely intact, completely visible. Now on the inside, I thought about spraying it with this glow-in-the-dark uh, spray paint and putting in some ultraviolet LEDs in there so they would cause that to glow. Um, or I don't even have to use a whole bunch of paint. I can just spray paint the ultraviolet LEDs if I prefer. Um, just see whichever puts off the more light. And the point is, make this glow on the inside um, so that it will look like radioactive mutagen ooze uh, that fills the uh, <laughs> Raspberry Pi box. It's just a little theme thing. I thought about the Cadbury Pi box uh, which you just spray paint this to look like a foil wrapper of a Cadbury egg. Um, other ideas such as um, the uh, Fond of Pi box <laughs> uh, maybe theme it to look like Henry Fonda. <laughs> I just thought of these ideas. Uh, but I'm going to have to conclude that now because this uh, video is nearing the amount of time limit that I can do for my new uh, YouTube channel. So uh, this is uh, Beak Supreme for my uh, Beaklebotics YouTube channel and keep watching.